how do you proceed with software on Autergus or on any Arch Linux device? So you're looking for a program, you found that, uh, oh my god, Ubuntu has made an article about Papyrus icon. It seems there's a new update and we want to have also these Papyrus icons. Never seen them, so you click the link, you follow the link and you read and you read. And you say, oh, looks looking good. You follow another link and then it says, ah, you have to install software and you see these lines. And as an Arch Linux, you say, oh, what's that? So this is a an, an way of installing it in a Debian-based Ubuntu, Linux Mint and all the others. So this is the way to install it there. What to do on Antergus or Arch Linux? Well, you just go to a terminal and you say, go up, you say Packer Papyrus. You get a list of all the elements on this our database base and you try to figure out one by the voting so the numbers here behind it what is the voting how highly ranked is it and whether or not it's an icon theme or just a theme so it can be a gtk theme like this one is just a theme specifically for kde this is not kde this is xfce so i could have mentioned here behind papyrus something like xfc or something to make the selection more narrow but it's the one, the second one, or the number one, is the one that I need. So I typed somewhere down here, number one. Type the number to install. And it says, is this the target? Yes, do you want to install? Yes. He's getting the information not from our, he's just getting the how to install it from our. But we don't see it, but it's coming from GitHub. And this is not to be seen in the code here, so you should really check the files online in, in AUR or R. Yeah. So 282 megabytes is, is not small for just two uh, icons and themes. And okay, everything is installed. And then you go to where you can change the icons. You go here to appearance, okay, to icons, and then you say one or two, one of them. Is the one you like so this is one and this is the other little bit of difference but in xfc it's not that big so this is papyrus and then next thing up is checking do you like the icon themes and you go to the all these elements all elements have an icon then you go to the all and you go down and you see mm -hmm. One icon missing, HP is missing, and then you run program, system profile and benchmark is missing, so two icons are missing. So you might get frustrated, you might not get frustrated. If you want to know how to fix that, what you do, you go to a little place, but let's take another view, view is icons. So you go to the place of we're going to change the icons. So it's icons, we should go to the icon themes. Problem is it's not on our own web space, meaning it's not on our Eric, our home folder. No, it's gonna be on our file system since we installed it with Packer. It's going to be in user share and then icons is somewhere let's just type the words icons and then we have this two of them papyrus and there's another papyrus i do think there is an assorting matter i've done at some point in time i've sorted to voila to on the name and then we can go back to the normal view so we have Papyrus Dark GTK, what did I use? Very important. What to fix? I used just the GTK, so let's put it on the dark. Doesn't mind, it's just an exercise. You go inside here. Index theme is to be opened with a program I like to work with. Since we're now on a protected part of the system, I'm opening it. And it says inherit from this one, but actually, I don't think we ha we actually have this one. 
So it's inheriting from something that does not exist. Uh, that, will, that will not work, of course. So what I will do is say I have this surfing icon, which is also similar to this one. It's uh, all colorful and no strict regulations how it looks. Not like the Sardi icons, which was circular and all that. So what I'm gonna do is say, look, uh, this Ubuntu Monodark, I don't know what it is, but first you go look for the missing icons to serve them. And with this sublime text, I do the following thing, Control S, and I'm so happy that I have this software. He asks my password, and it's saved. So I am now saving st stuff on a restricted space, where normally you can't do it, but with sublime text it's just a pop-up, type in your password, and now the missing icons from HP and so on. So let's quickly have a look, last look because it will be fixed soon. Um, we are at all and then we go down and let's go back up. System profiler and with the age somewhere here, HP device manager. So two icons that are not okay. I've changed something. Um, Let's try and see if, if that works. I'm just thinking it might not work, but let's have a look. So switching between one and the other, that's all you have to do. Close it again, check it out. HP. There is my HP, so it did work. And then back to the last one here, System Profiler. So these two icons are coming from another icon sets, which is my own surfing. And so that's how I, figure out and fix the elements that are not yet made uh, with other icon sets. So you can switch around and mix icon sets as well. But that's all explained on Eric Dubois how to, to mix icons together. And that's uh, something you can check out there. So that's, uh, that's that. I enjoy your system. <laughs>